Hallelujah, hallelujah, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to another beautiful, blessed day, another inspirational Thursday, another opportunity to give God glory, honor, and praise to learn more of our Father. Isn't it exciting news to learn more about our Heavenly Father? Every day, there are new mercies for us to be a part of. Every day is another opportunity to grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In today's Inspiration of Thursday, we are going to talk about the power of fasting and prayer. <laughs> Who's excited about learning what thus said the Lord? about fasting and prayer. Before we go any further into this message, I want to give you guys a big shout out, a thanks to each of you for all of your support, for everything that you're doing in this ministry on my channel, even with my makeup videos, fashion, lifestyle, you guys. If it had not been for you guys, I would not bring be this far on this journey. And I give God praise. And he's just such an awesome, awesome, awesome father. So this is your first time. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the kingdom family. In the name of Jesus, if you've already been here, thank you for returning back for another fresh word from the throne room of heaven. Let's go to God in prayer. God, we thank you. Oh God, we welcome your Holy Spirit. We can't do anything without you. We thank you that you never leave us. You never forsaken us. We ask that you will forgive us of every sin. We confess that we've sinned and we've fallen short of the glory of you, God, in many different ways, thoughts, words, actions. And cleanse us, Lord. Renew a righteous spirit within us and a pure, clean heart. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We thank you that you are the same Yahweh God today, yesterday, and forevermore. We love you, Lord. And we give you praise. Hashem, Magamanaha. We thank you, Lord God. And we ask God that you will teach Holy Spirit to your, da your daughters and your sons. Bring heaven down in this teaching. Let healing, deliverance, salvation, reconciliation. Come forward in this message, whatever you need to do for your sons and your daughters. I'm just a vessel to be used to build up your kingdom and that your kingdom is edified and you glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we love you and we thank you. It is in Jesus' name. We do pray. Hallelujah. Amen. A -a 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 amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jehovah is, he is just an awesome God. He is a a God of, he has a great sense of humor as well. He's not a boring God. He is a, 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 a powerful father. He is an exciting father to get to know. So today we are going to dive into the word of God. We are going to be studying from the book of Matthew chapter 17 verse 21. I am reading from the New King James study bible if you was wanting to know what translation i'm studying for from and it reads it says how be this kind go not out by but by prayer and fasting how many of you know about the importance of fasting i'm not talking about your one year going into, into a new year fasting your 21 days fasting with your church or just a fast that you do um just say out of tradition if it's okay to say that um the importance of prayer and fasting which that is good it's good to do a 21 day fast it's good to start a fast with prayer whenever you're crossing over into a new year so god can give you the vision for that year and prepare you for what is yet to come also to arm you up to stand against the wiles of the enemy because we do have a devil that roams to and fro to see who we can devour and so we have to be ready for that so yes it is okay to do those type of fasts and god wants us to do it but i want to encourage you to go a little deeper if you have not i know in my personal journey with christ I have to fast and pray at least three or four times out of a month. And that may be every week throughout every month. 
Because one thing about the Lord, the closer we get to God, the closer we get to the fire of God, hallelujah, Jesus, the closer we get to that fire, the more the enemy is going to come with different things. He is a devil that does not do new things. I want to tell you that. It's the same thing, but it's in a very cunning way if you don't have a strong discernment to see and hear in the spiritual realm. Because all of his little tactics, they are the same. But he knows how to come and try to trip the people of God up. That's why it's important to incorporate prayer and fasting in your everyday life. Even if you're going to pray and fast through two times out of a month, just make sure that you're pushing that and you're adding it throughout your everyday life throughout each month that the Lord bring us into. Because God don't want us to continue to be on milk. He wants us to be on the meat. He wants us to grow in the grace and in the knowledge of him, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He wants us to get everything that he has in store for his sons and his daughters on the earth realm. And the only way that we can get there is through pushing that plate back it is through sacrifices. It's through, oh God, I'm going to give you more. I'm going to give you more of my time. Today, I'm going to fast. Today, I'm going to pray. Today, and, and not only just fasting and praying for you, your, your personal life, your family, but fasting and praying for other people. You can also incorporate that if you have not already done that. It is very, very important to have a strong fasting and prayer life the power of prayer and fasting will give you a boost in your faith it will strengthen your your faith muscles it will give you a stronger discernment to where you can hear and see the lord clearer in the spiritual realm your dream life will open up wide and you will begin to see things that you've never seen before i'm not talking about dark dreams some dreams god will show us to warn us and sometimes it may be you know, a witchcraft attack. It may be, you know, some type of generational curse or something that the Lord is warning us about. But your dream life will open up so wide and clear to where you understand you start seeing things more clearer. Fasting and prayer also breaks the yoke of bondage of unforgiveness. If you have a problem with forgiving people, truly walking in love, meeting people right where they are, God will break that yoke. <laughs> of bondage off of your life because I am a witness. I had went through a, a journey with the Lord of fasting and prayer of unforgiveness. And when I tell you that the Lord has set me free, the word of God says, whom the son has set free, I'm free indeed. I'm here to testify that Jesus did it. Prayer and fasting will do so much in your life. It would also give you like leap. It will give you hind feet as a deer. Like you'll find yourself walking through spiritual battles and it's so easy to just leap on through it with the help of the Lord. It won't be as hard or 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 so it won't be the the the, the spiritual warfare won't be as heavy and in a, as intense as it would normally be with fasting and prayer. And if you are struggling in your finances or you're waiting on a financial breakthrough or you know that you're supposed to be receiving something or um, you've, you've gotten a letter or you've gotten a phone call about something that's pending or whatever and it seemed like you start having problems, put fasting and prayer on that, my sister and my brother, and the heavens will open up and release your breakthrough. It will release your breakthrough. And I also want to share that when you are fasting and praying, make sure that you are clearing yourself free from all social media platform, even YouTube. Feed off of the word of God. Renew your mind and worship. Just worship. Worship, worship the Lord through spirit and in truth. I know some of you may be at work to where you may not be able to do that, <laughs> that undignified praise with your, with your music up or whatever, but you can praise the Lord in your spirit while you're at work. You can pray while you're at work as well. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. We serve an awesome God. And he has so many good things for us. The word of God says that we're seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And that's where we are. We're just on this earth temporary passing through. But in the spirit, we're seated with him in heavenly places 
in Christ Jesus. So fasting and prayer has so much power, dunamis power, healing power, resurrecting power. Oh my God, for your life, just as he has done it for me, he's going to continue to do it for me. He has so much that he wants to do for you as well in the mighty name of Jesus. So I hope that this message has really, really helped you and brought light into an area to where you may need to incorporate fasting and prayer. Do your research on the 21 day fast if you have not done it. Also, do your research on Esther fast. The Esther fast is the most powerful, in my opinion, fasting and prayer, because God has done amazing things for me and my family. God has done some things for us. He has really showed himself. And I am so grateful to Yahweh. He has really, really moved. So I want to encourage you. The Esther fast, it has so much power. And you can do it with the help of the Lord. You can push the plate back for three days. And if you want to go without drinking anything, like if you push the plate back and you just have water, that's fine. But if you just want a dry fast, the Holy Spirit will help you. Just ask him and he will help you. He is an ever-present help in the time of need. So I hope that you guys, my brothers and sisters in Christ, enjoy this message. I pray that it will be a blessing to you, which I know that it will because it has been a blessing to me as well. In the name of Jesus, comment down below if you have any more questions about praying and fasting. Let me know if you need me to do another teaching on it. I'll be happy to do that for you. If you have any prayer requests that you need me to pray and cover in prayer for you, I will also do that for you. I pray in the name of Jesus that every viewer that is watching, whenever you do, rather if it's a year from today, if you're not saved, that salvation is your portion right now in the name of Jesus. Healing is your portion in, right now in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough is your portion right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you for the word of God. Your word it is a light unto our path and a lamp unto our feet. God, we love you. We bless you. We exalt your holy, mighty, and powerful name. It is in Jesus' name we do pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Be encouraged. Continue to fight the good fight of faith. And be reminded that the Lord promised never to leave you or ever to forsake you. He's with you until the end. Even when it doesn't feel like he's there, he is there. Because we serve a covenant-keeping father. And he is so, so, so faithful. And if you have not accepted Christ into your life, I will have some prayers in the description box down below. Repeat those prayers. And you will be a part of the kingdom of heaven. You will be a part of the kingdom family. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So comment down below. Let me know. I will be seeing you guys in the next Inspirational Thursday. As you're praying for me, I am praying for you. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Hallelujah.